good morning. Hey. It is 11 a.m. on Saturday, the 31st of August, the last day of August, and it is time for. Day in my boo channel. Day in my boo channel. So, how are ya? So, how are ya? Yeah. You alright? <laughs> I hope so. No. Um, Let me just go down for a drink. Yeah, okay, you do that. I'm feeling very touched out today. Um, if you don't know what touched out means, it just basically means when you've had enough of people physically touching you. I'm not a tactile person. I am with my children and I was with Stuart, but I'm not with other people. I had a bad pain flare last night. I just saw Gary! I saw Gary. You saw Gary, did you? Yeah. That's good. Um, he didn't wait. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I had a bad pain flare and I'm feeling um, a bit hypersensitive today, I That would you say hello. So, hello. Shh, please. What um, do you say hello? Yeah, he's feeling cuddly and I'm like, mm, don't worry. Get off. So I've got to go down the road in a minute and do some housework down there. I'm going to post all the postcards. And, um. What do you say, hi? I might go for a walk, I think. It's a lovely day. No. I'll take the camera and go somewhere nice. Now, I haven't been doing my sun bits. What do you say, hello? We're not going out. Yes, we are. It's not up to you. I don't want to go out. Oh, well. We're going at Nas house, do some painting, and... Painting? Why would we be doing painting? Because we haven't done Oh, enough. and also, um, I don't know if this is around the right way. Oh, I'll have to take a photo and show Amber my t-shirt. <laughs> because uh, ah! it's a Doctor Who one. Yeah, I had a bad night, had to take a painkiller. I don't feel grand about it, you know, and I I hope when I'm like this, because, you know, it, I'm, I feel like I'm being horrible. Can you not jog me, please? I wanted a kiss. Um, yeah, but you're jogging me when I'm trying to draw. Um, yeah, I feel like I'm being really horrible, and I know he doesn't get it, but I just, I, you know... Or is that green like trying to <sighs> trying to crush that my, bread? My, oh, my skin is crawling. It's horrible. Mm. What? Why is that green crushing Move. the bread? Because it is. That doesn't work. <sighs> right, we did all of that last night. So yay me for being on top of the cleaning. <laughs> right. Um, I had nothing to tick off, and we got up to date with the journaling didn't we because yeah i did that a lot and then remembered i hadn't done the day uh, the words so i've put the word there okay so let's change the pen i'm tired and i'm not feeling very patient today well it says it's completely overcast and yet i see blue skies out there so i think i'm thinking uh, of scrapping clear day completely and just moving over to the fucking met office He's also at the fantastic stage where when you say something he doesn't agree with, he tells you he doesn't like you or that you're horrible, that he hates you, all of that. Which is like, he just thought, yeah, that's lovely, thanks for that. Okay, so the Met Office says it's 20 over 12, Clear Day says 21 over 11, so it's it's pants. <laughs> I don't know, I don't fucking know. Ugh. I like the amount of info that Clear Day gives you, but then also... I think the Met Office gives you the majority of that info as well. Well, like I said, I might start doing the weather more towards the end of the day, you know. Take a screenshot of it during the day, at whatever it is. Yeah. I used to do that. I used to record what they predicted the weather would be, what it was first thing in the morning, what it was at lunchtime, and what it was at 6pm. Insane. I have a little chart every week on my weekly. I itch today. Really itch. Yeah, I've 
coloured that in scruffy, but I really just I don't have the patience today. I don't know what's going on with me. Right, I day face cream is on. Even my own hair's annoying me. It's tickling my my arms and that. Oh, it's like hypersensitised due to the meds or something. I was about pain meds. I'm thinking, grab my camera, get on the bus, get out in the middle of nowhere and fucking walk home. That might be an idea. I might do that. I've got to go down the road first, but I might just take everything with me and then catch the bus from outside my mum's house. Oh, God. That's quite appropriate. That's quite appropriate. Um, providing it doesn't actually mean death. Um, it doesn't always mean death. Okay, we've, we've had this discussion before. Unfortunately, last time I pulled it, it did. Um, a friend of mine lost uh, a pregnancy quite late. Uh, a few days after I pulled it. And I felt really bad for her. Um, <laughs> my son's trying to work out his music. His entrance music for wrestling and um he's amalgamated two songs the first the bit that starts and ends it is oh death now if you're a supernatural fan you'll know what that is um it's it's a quite a chilling song actually um it's it's beautiful to listen to i don't think i can play it though because it's on YouTube but I don't know if I can play it it's by Jen Titus okay it's called O Death look for O Death full song and it's it's in Supernatural and it, it it's played the first time we come across death the leader of the, the apocalypse and Alex is starting and ending his entrance music with O Death and the middle bit is um, I, I don't know who it's by but it's something called like a conversation with death and it's quite rock and heavy and he spent hours last night blending the two to try and get it to work and um, I, th I think we're almost there we're almost there with it so I don't know is is this just is this coincidence I mean, that's a heck of a coincidence especially as when I was getting dressed I actually listened to the full version of O Death and I've literally just got dressed and come down so, will you please go away and stop pulling faces at the camera? Go on, go. So, yeah, that's... That's a strange one. No, no. We'll have cuddles in a minute, alright? Just give me a minute. That's the wrong one. I just find that kind of ironic. Hoping it does not mean death. Um, I'm hoping that it just may well it I mean death when it doesn't mean death means that there is a change um, something new rising from something old well uh, Dara starts school in a week a week and two days so week Monday um, let's just hope that it's talking about that and it's not talking about actual death I've put death. Alex's entrance. Daryl starting school. Hopefully not actual death. So we are almost done. We're almost done. For August. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to give this up as a bad idea in a minute. Does anybody else ever get like this? I just feel itchy and I don't feel right. Weird. Okay, um, I've done the loo and the laundry. Um, I coloured it in accidentally yesterday. I'm so cross with that. I might run the vacuum around before I go out. Okay, so I've got to go down and do the cleaning in mum's bed and I've got to send the postcards. I'm going to answer some of your comments. Don't go too small because you won't have room to write anything. This is true. And there are certain size limits here in the States. Don't know about over there. Um, okay. I don't know. I know that you can't go too, too small. Like you couldn't send 
you know, I, I would imagine that is probably, and that's about a seven, I think. A5 piece of paper, that makes it a six, and then again makes it a seven. So I don't think you can go much smaller than that. And the reason for that being is because it gets lost in the sorting equipment. <laughs> Stuart was a postman. Um, so, but it wouldn't be smaller than that. It would probably be yeah it, it would be probably about that size but like you said that's too small really but then i don't know that i want to go too big either especially if i'm sending all over the world because that gets expensive so um i picked up a book actually yesterday from the post office letters not exceeding length tw ah right okay so if i'm talking about a five size 24 centimeters well i could send a five 24 by 16. right so a five is okay as a standard letter okay according to this weight limit 100 grand well, it won't be more than that this is all uk i have a drug I have a purple dragon to show them. International side guide. Yeah, see, I A5 would be considered a standard letter. So, weight up to 100 grams. I might while I'm over the road. This is a dragon. And the hub is broken. World Zone 1 and World Zone 2 are the price guides. Okay. Singapore is in World Zone 2, right? Gosh, post office box, there's a lot of money here. 31, 31 pounds a month, wow. Mom, I'm going to put That's my dragon down. Ah, Royal Mail International Standard. One thirty-five. So is that? Could you not, please? So I think that is. Can you not, please? While I'm trying to talk, that's very rude. So I think this is considered standard. What I might do is take this over the road with me in a minute and just get them to confirm that I'm on the right track here. Just so that I know, um, Daryl, if you don't take Jessie in the other room, I'm going to take her away because you're being really rude at the moment. Go on. But at least then I know I could do this. It would be considered a plus size postcard. But what the fuck? It's going to have a photograph taken by me on it. It's going to make it really personal. And if they don't like that, they can fuck off. I don't actually think there is a size limit on post crossings. I'm going to have a quick look while I've got you guys on here. Post crossings. Let's have a quick look and see what they say. Um, stats, that's it. Uh, help. Frequently asked questions. Uh, da, 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 da. Sending postcards. What can I send? It's a postcard. It should, each exchange you make must include at least one postcard. It can be a postcard you bought in a store or a handmade postcard, as long as it hasn't been previously used. If you want, you can also send other things with your postcard. For instance, a letter, a photo, or a pamphlet. This isn't required nor expected. The only thing you have to send in is a postcard. Yeah, I could send this seven by five now um somebody else said that first comment was from tita by the way about the um small ones um amy there is a four by six photo paper that uses as a postcard yeah the thing about that is that the, the photo paper i use this photo paper this is seven by five and i get a pack of 40 from the UK equivalent of the dollar store. 
So I'm, I'm a pound here in, in England. So I'm paying a pound for 40 odd sheets of this, you know, and they'd only sell that size. So, yeah. Amber says two photos and a large border would be cute. You could stamp or wash your something for a border. Yeah. I don't know because this is glossy. So I don't know that it would take a stamp very well. Make a photo collage of multiple photos. Yeah, that's not where I was going. What I was going with was the size of the finished product. Yeah. I don't mind doing just one photograph, but it's the size, whether this is, would be considered too big as a postcard. If I sent if I sent this to you, would you think, fucking hell, that's huge? Or would you be like, wow, yeah, giant postcard, that's awesome. And if you're a postcard collector, this isn't going to fit. But then, you know, these two postcards are different sizes. And that's almost the same size as that one. So, you know, I'm kind of like, do you know what, bollocks? I need a cookbook holder to hold my other book. <laughs> yeah, or I could just prop it up. But every time I prop it up, I knock, knock my pop so far so yeah I just I need to tidy my fucking desk that's what I need to do she wishes she had Amber wishes she had a step counter for today that's because Amber went to Michael's and Tuesday morning and spent a fucking fortune and she bought a punch board that I don't have for like stupendously stupid cheap money and to be honest it would be cheaper for me to say to you go and buy me one and post it to me and I'll pay you back than it would for me to fucking buy one here I, I, that, that pisses me off that you guys get such good deals over there I mean I've heard of like 60% off at Michael's the best offer I get over here is at Hobbycraft and on your birthday you get 5% off 5 fucking percent they don't sell We Are Memory punch boards and shit at Hobbycraft I've got to get all that kind of thing on Amazon and you don't get deals like that on Amazon not on Amazon UK anyway I don't know whether you do on US but it's just, uh... So, thank you for the kisses. Daryl loved seeing that. And my little camera shots for Amber. And, um, Amy also loves how Amber leaves me 45 million comments. Because <laughs> she does what I do. She types it and hits enter and then watches more. So, <laughs> um, also, if you find that it's a while before I like your comment, that might be because it got trapped into the likely spam. I've had that happen a few times. And I check my likely spam box every day. But sometimes comments don't turn up in there for a couple of days. They sort of disappear into limbo. And then a couple of days after the video's gone up, they'll suddenly appear. And I'm like, well, where's that been for two fucking days, you know? So, yeah. So I think I might go with this A5 size. Um, my friend Kerry, her daughter has just started the... Um, but there's a scheme here in the UK where you can send postcards to the elderly you know ones that live in residential homes old, old lonely old people you know and somebody suggested that maybe her daughter could color them so i'm thinking i might send these to her because i'm not going to use them if i'm going to do this i could put a photo there print it straight onto the postcard this side is rougher i don't know i might have to do a bit of exp this side is smooth this side is rougher because you're supposed to write on this side I'm wondering how well this would take a photo. I may have to have a little play, but I'm just thinking I might just send these off because, you know, I've used some of them to send hey, you guys. Hey, can I do some cards? <laughs> Daryl did some postcards and sent off to a few of you. I would but... do it. Anyway, right. Um, I'm going to love I you and leave you. Shh, please. Shh, shh, shh. I'll do one of them. Oh, no, I haven't done today, have I? So I last night after I said goodbye to you lot, I filled out my calendar. I did pardon me my tasks i think i'm gonna do it i did that's the size you are my chores list is all set out and ready i need to put battery in my scales upstairs because they are dead and we need to write in 31 because it is the 31th today mm. uh, isn't yeah. it what and no, I do not teach my children to speak incorrectly. It was a joke. It's not a joke. Yes, yeah, so I've got some batteries that I need to go up and put in my scales. Stupidly, though, they require a fucking Daryl require a um, screwdriver to get into them, and I'm not sure I've got one that small. 
I used to have little mini screwdrivers, but I don't know where they've all gone. That's it, I'm set up for today and get going. I'm gonna go and get on with it. Um, but first off, I'm going to show you my adipose t-shirt. Okay, so. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> Hope you liked that. Could you please stop making that noise? Thank you. Right, um, we're off and I will see you later on this afternoon. I appreciate you joining me and Daryl's gonna do it. You can do it there now. Be a thumbs up. You're not in shot. Get over here. Be a thumbs up. Be a yeah, don't keep saying it. Say something else. You know what next. <laughs> You've got lovely little ears. They taste lovely. They're not. <laughs> oh, it broke them. <laughs> <laughs> right, so put a thumbs up. Put a thumbs up and leave us a comment because we love comments. Click the book. Subscribe. Subscribe. Say it properly and you'll be subscribed. subscribed. And then you hit the bell squares down below. You know Rachel when I young you you can't text. Awesome stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so that's me. Yeah, that's my bitch. lunch. What are you having for lunch? I had ears and they were lovely. Okay, Ow. I will see you in the evening edition. Take it easy guys. Bye. Bye. Move out of the way so I can turn Kisses. it off. Mwah. Oh. Mwah. Welcome back to the evening edition. I hope you're all okay. Right. So tired. I came over all exhausted early on. And now all I want to do is sleep. Now I've got a few things I need to write down for next week. I'm going to send the blank postcards to um, my friend's daughter so she can send them off to care homes I'm stuck on something um and I also need to cut Daryl's hair this is gonna be quick because quite frankly I'm going to bed early I'm really really tired so the weather is done I'm gonna do the challenge now I've had no booze I've had one can or less no chips. I did not craft. I need to do it about today. I did the garden this morning. Mm, doing well. I am still itching. I am still <clears throat> oversensitized. I feel horrible, really, really horrible. So I'm actually going to put a crying sad face, or should I put an angry face? No, I'm going to put an angry face because I am kind of angry as well. With maybe a couple of tears. There you go, that do. <laughs> Because I've been scratching all day. It's been horrible. If I'm sat here, I'm going like this. Ugh. Right, I can't do that until tomorrow. <coughs> I haven't set up next week yet. <sighs> yep, I've done all that. And I vacuumed downstairs. Yay me. a little bit of my office because I vacuumed in here too <laughs> so I'm getting there um, I've said I've put dishwasher but what I actually mean is I manually washed up because I've run out of dishwasher tablets so <laughs> yeah right today 
I went down to my mother's, I cleaned and I stripped her bed and I sent all the postcards off, that cost me a fortune. Right. Went out for a walk today. I need to move the photos over from my camera. Took some nice ones. It's nice. Nice day. But I, my skin is irritating. I'm really tired, so I think I'm going to go to bed early. Um, thank you so much for joining me. We'll do an August look through tomorrow, I expect, once I've filled it all in. And um, I will do a September setup tomorrow morning as well, okay? And uh, yeah, I think it's going to be a lot of sitting at the book tomorrow <laughs> just to get it all up and running. But anyway, right, thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you tomorrow. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Take it easy. Don't forget the thumbs up, leave us a comment down below. Click the book, you'll be subscribed. Hit the bell, and you'll be notified when I upload new content. Thank you so, so much for joining me today. I really, really appreciate it. And I will see you in Sunday's edition of Today in My Bujo. Take it easy, guys. <laughs>